Hello everyone, these are the Top Sky Prime 1S goggles. And I can't use them. That's the long and short of this review. I think you need to be very cautious if you're buying these goggles. Top Sky does not have a good brand when it comes to FPV goggles. You might remember the other two versions they tried to make didn't really pan out that well, especially at the price point. And they followed uh, a suit with, they have this removable faceplate, which may or may not be cool. But the reason why I can't use this is these dials or diopters that move the screen in and out. Don't move it far enough to where I can use it. Now, I do wear glasses, um, but I don't wear glasses when I use Fat Shark goggles. I don't wear glasses when I'm uh, looking at my phone. I don't wear glasses when I wear other box goggles like the EV, uh, what is it, the 800Ds. Um, I've got another set of goggles that I haven't given away just because I've modified those. They're kind of hacked up that work just fine, but I can't use these. I could not get them into focus, and actually, when I first started using them I, I tried you know this is a little bit confusing you know you're supposed to as it says use both hands to adjust the diopter and I thought well maybe I've screwed it up so I took it apart and what I found inside as you're looking at it is there are a couple of little pieces that stick up off the tray that the screen goes in that has those grooves in it that acts like a gear and it really only moves at about three quarters of an inch so there's not that much distance change as far as the screen goes in there. Now, I have to presume that the reason why I can't use these is because the magnification or the lenses that are in these aren't magnifying strong enough. So I have all these other people in my household, mainly my family, so I decided to start giving them a try. And as we look at it, something else that causes a little bit of a problem is this curvature is actually quite heavy. Probably won't be able to get this perfectly in shot for you, but... The curvature of the Prime versus the curvature of the Fat Sharks. These are made for much smaller faces. And what I was told from my children is that they fit pretty well. And when I asked them about light leak around the side, because I experienced quite a bit of light leak around the sides and a little bit through the nose area, that they didn't feel like they had it. Um, they also didn't feel like the image was clear. Now, my kids also wear glasses, except for the youngest one. The youngest one, I don't really trust her judgment as far as clear goes. She's just not quite old enough to where she can define that for me. She's still at an age where we might find next year she needs glasses all of a sudden, because that does happen. Uh, I also had my wife try these on. And my wife had uh, really poor vision, but she had LASIK surgery years ago. Uh, not that many years ago, like four years ago. And so now her vision is actually a little bit better than 2020. So she tried these on, and at first she complained a lot about the feel and how they felt on her face. She didn't like those at all. She's, I don't know how you can wear these things and have fun, was kind of the, the comment I heard several times. But she didn't think that it was clear either. So then I also tried a buddy of my oldest. His buddy was over, and he tried them on. And his vision, as of, he's 14, is 2020. He tried them on, also not clear. So either something is wrong with the screen in mine. I tried multiple cameras and I put it back together more than once to try to make sure I was giving this thing a fair shot. So uh, I think that the gist of this is one, it, it's not going to fit a lot of adult faces very well. It'll be a pretty narrow margin. And two, the, visually, it'll only fit a narrow margin of people as well. So there's a big risk in buying this product. Now, mine came, I, my understanding was, I think Albert's review, one of these buttons had busted. Uh, and they, I don't know if his shipped this way or not, but it comes with a little foam pad that you see there on the top of the package. And that seems to be designed to protect those. So as long as Customs doesn't mess up the packaging when it arrives in your country, then it's more likely to arrive intact. Uh, one other thing, let me back up a second. While I had this apart, I did notice it does have two receivers on each side of the box. Now, having two receivers is only part of the equation. How it handles the switching is another part. So if you've got a patch antenna on one side and a circular polarized on another, and how it decides to switch, is it just the strongest sig signal? Does it switch very quickly? Does it wait for the signal to kind of get weak and then switch? How does it handle that? That's also part of what impacts diversity. So just having two receivers isn't the magic bullet. It is a good start, but how they've got it, the firmware program to handle that switching is another good portion of it. it there's no indication that I could find when it does switch from one to another and I did try with a patch and a circular and I 
take the circular off and I'd point the patch at it and then I'd kind of turn things around. I tried various experimentations with those things after I kind of was just disappointed uh, about the fact that I couldn't fly with these. And even with these, I did try to fly and I ended up finding myself flying in stabilized mode in the house which for those of you that follow the channel very closely will know that I generally fly acro all the time. Uh, but I, I tried it a few times. I actually, when I thought I kind of had my stability legs under me, I was like, okay, let's, let's try it in acro. And I'd land it and flip it into acro mode and then we'd go. And I can fly a little bit, but I'm really uncomfortable and I don't, I don't have the ability to see where I'm going even inside where I know where everything's at. I, I know this place in and out. Some would say like the back of my hand. But I still couldn't fly comfortably. Yeah, it's got all the features you would want. It's got auto searching. It's got an internal battery. I could get that out, but why bother? In this particular case, the strongest point I can make to you is be very careful about buying these goggles. If maybe they have a second manufacturing run and they fix all sorts of things, be sure that you see five, ten, what number of videos that you find where this works good for the reviewer or you have buddies that you could try one on. Whatever the case may be, it's only 80 bucks, but still 80 bucks is not chump change. That's 80 bucks. That's what I think I saw the EV800Ds on sale for like 69 bucks. So that's $20 more than well, I'm pretty certain the goggles that are going to work for you. And this one, it comes with these linear antennas. It does not come with the antennas they show in the image. That's just a render. Um, it does come with an extra foam pad, and, and yeah, these do move in and out, and as far as I could tell when I had it apart, this does move the screen. It just doesn't move it enough to where it makes it flyable. A um, little bit of a, I don't, I don't know, I, it kind of feels, a lot of this product feels like bait and switch. They show you antennas, but they don't give you those antennas in the picture. This makes it look like this telescope's in and out, but it doesn't. These actually little cutouts right here are actually clip points, so when you're putting this thing back together, you squeeze it. And another thing that annoyed me right out the back here, I'm going to press the power button, and watch how long it takes. Well, can I angle this? Yeah, uh, so you can see the power button, you can see a little bit of light through there, and it'll also beep when it turns on. So I'll press and hold. So the screen's on now. Why do we have to press so long to get the dang things on, too? I mean, that's a little thing. Uh, the DVR, that stuff, it, it works. I did have one issue with the DVR. I put a card in I'd previously used, and I couldn't play back one of the files that was recorded on the DVR. The file was fine. I could play it on my PC. What I ended up doing was formatting the SD card, putting it back in, recording it. It did work normally there. I guess I, I wish these would be better goggles to start out with, because that's kind of the market they're going after, that sub $100 market. And and these are somewhat more compact than box goggles. I really don't have my camera zoomed out so you can get a really good idea. But I showed you the Fat Shark goggles here. It gives you a little bit of an idea. And let me grab the front part of the EV800Ds. So this is just the front half of the EV800Ds. So that's kind of what we've got is just a small extension of that. It's not, as far as the height goes, there's not much of a change there. I would say maybe at most a half inch difference between... It's like the top piece of the visor and the top piece of uh, this goggle over here. So the, the, they haven't shrunk things down dramatically. The length is going to be a little bit shorter than most box goggles. So I've said it a few times. I'm sorry to be such a negative Nancy today, but Top Sky needs to do more testing with their product before they send it out. I think that's been their fault twice now on two different goggles. They have got a heavy investment in what I would consider failed products so far. Again, be cautious. Do lots of homework. Try these for yourself before you're buying them. Otherwise, get something else altogether. Um, you can find those old reliable goggles all over the place, the EV800Ds. Um, I can't think of the name of the other ones. They, they're JJRC branded, but they come in about four or five different brands. And I stuck a, a module and an Ishii Pro DVR on it to record DVR. But that one didn't have a DVR. It didn't have any features. It just That's what it came out of the time. This one's got all the features. But unfortunately, I think the market of people that can actually use this to where the screen will be clear and it will fit their face is pretty small. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in that section down below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.